Lastly, I have to ask you, um, the, it's funny because the city gets a lot of flack. They're like, oh, because he lost, we turned our back on Earl. And I'm like, I don't, I don't see where people are, like, I don't see what that is, but that's the kind of talk around social media. Like, oh, once somebody take a loss, y'all turn y'all back on them. Do you feel that? Like, I mean, you're out here talking to people. Do you feel like people who were on, on Earl Spence bandwagon jumped off immediately after the loss? Have you been seeing that out here? I mean, the people that I be around is pretty much realists, you know what I'm saying? They respect both fighters, you know? We was on some, you know, shit, Earl got to come with it type shit, you know, because we knew he was fighting another dog. So, I mean, now far as, you know, just the city, you know, that's just how we do, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, shit, check this out. That's sad. That's sad. Every man, win and loss. Let, let, let that, that Prince Scott and them come out bullshit. Man, throw the city away. Throw the whole city away. Fuck them all. You know, that's how the city go be. You know what I'm saying? So it You know the irony to this whole situation is they tried to clown Terrence Bud Crawford because he was from Omaha. Saying nobody's from there. It's a little place, like nothing significant over there. Uh nobody cares. You ain't gonna have no fan base, all this other stuff. Couple with all the stuff that they was talking about with Terrence Bud Crawford. Now you're gonna lose the fight, have a crawfish, and all this other stuff. And you know how it go. Only to end up on top of all that has happened and all that has got reversed on Errol Spence. In the end, when he went to talking all that big Texas talk and all that other stuff, Texas, from what they saying. And from what my man said, abandoned him and didn't mess with him. Once again, I'm trying to get you to understand, this is the man that called himself the big fish. He's the big fish based off being based in Texas because Texas is so big, the market, you know? So that's what gave Errol Spence the so-called advantage over Crawford that's how they were looking at it you know because it's really a few states in one but it's so big that the market is there for him and that's what the whole Jerry Jones thing was about and that's how the whole big fish thing came about but to only in the end to see Terrence Crawford being loved and celebrated by his own and Omaha gave it up for him from top to bottom they gave it up to him only to turn around to have you be the one to not only lose but lose your city in the process it's crazy bro that's crazy but like I said it was gonna be a righteous kill boy was doing too much saying too much you know that's wrong. In the end, he did fight him, but he was a mouse trapped in the corner. And instead of listening to his handler, he decided to do something better for himself. That's something that I do praise Arrow for. You know, but it's not much there, but at least he did do something and didn't stay in that one spot and didn't continue to go downhill. You know, at least he pulled it together and did what he did. But like I say, he was in the corner where he had to. Other than that, they was going to clown Terrence Crawford and his accomplishments and his resume all the way to the top to fight Canelo. Now, am I lying to you? So don't ever forget. You know, but I just think it's funny that you clown him for being from Omaha and you supposed to be from Texas and stuff like that. And he's a little guy and you supposed to win and he supposed to lose and you end up losing all that with the belts. With your undisputed dream. Derek James, trainer of the year, down the drain. They know that they they now know that's false. And you lost your city. Crazy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.